Hi, this is Jihad and let's get to know OSHA 1994. To secure the safety, health and welfare among all workforce in Malaysia. It is also to protect others against risk to safety or health in connection with the activities of work. The objective of OSHA is to give protection to the person at work against the risk of safety and health at work. It is also to protect other people at the workplace such as clients and visitors and to promote a better working environment where it should be conducive and meet the psychological needs of the employees. These are some of the scope that are under OSHA. It means that these sectors are all covered by the law. However, there are some exceptions which is ship that is governed by the Merchant Shipping Ordinance and the Malaysian Armed Force. These are some of the responsibilities of the employers that are need to be fulfilled. Employees also have their own roles to play in the workplace. These are the responsibilities of an employee that are enacted in the OSHA. To what extent the law achieves its purpose? Based on the SOXO statistics, we can see as the year progress, there is an increased report on workers that lost their hearing while working due to noise disturbance. This shows that the law does achieve its purpose by receiving reports regarding to incidents that happen in the workplace. If there is no OSHA, we wouldn't know if any employees sustain any injury. By this way, employers can maintain a better working environment for the workers. These are the statistics from DOSH regarding to occupational accidents by state from January to March 2020. The first way to enforce the law is by inspection. This to ensure that the working environment is safe. This can be done without prior notice. The second way is to investigate accidents. They can order the employer to stop operation until the hazard is removed. The third way is to prosecute an employer. This happens when employer or employee fail to perform legal duties under OSHA. So, that is all from me. Thank you for listening and have a good day.